All right, big second half, you guys. Big third quarter for us. Um, really propelled us um, to an important win um, as we continue to try to fight for the best seed we can get. Um, really, really proud of them coming out of the locker room with the defensive intensity that they had. And then withstood a shaky start in the fourth quarter, 14-2 to start. Um, and we responded um, and didn't, uh, didn't totally uh, separate as a team. And then Jazz led us really well down the stretch. Um, Lasia allowed Jazz to move off the ball. He got us aggressive. We were playing with our big lineup, which started to dominate the glass and get us some second opportunities and be strong in there. So we withstood that fourth quarter uh, flurry by them and some mistakes early. With, with Courtney in foul trouble. So um, big win, uh, a big, big win and good practice for us if we ultimately want to go where we want to go and playing Chicago uh, like this in Chicago on Friday back here really mimics a playoff series. So um, a lot to learn and, and be proud of our team. You know, Jasmine's numbers are, you know, the 4 4 18, you look and say, ouch, but by the same token, she was there when you needed her to be. Is she just starting to take this team on her back a little bit more every time? Well, she's definitely got a competitiveness um, that we need and a fire. And you could see that they were upset um, and disappointed that we let them back in the game. Uh, we, ha we had them on the hook. We were up 16. Vandersloot and Quigley were tired and were on the bench. Um, you know, you feel like um, you have a chance while they're out to maybe extend the lead. Instead, they got rest and the lead was evaporated in a hurry. So um, just proud that, you know, Jazz really competed there at the end, stayed aggressive. And you could see that, that determination. You know, when she gets that determination, not all her shots go in, but good things happen usually because she's going to be aggressive during that determination. In the third quarter, then Ron comes in. You bring Jones in and put her in the long post. Just always go in the long post. Was just a conscious decision to try to exploit a matchup in your favor. Yeah, you know, we tried a bunch of things uh, that we thought would work. It didn't, not all of them worked, but one of the areas we wanted uh, to really look at tonight was pounding the ball to both Cheney and, and JJ, but not getting away from our, you know, what we do, but we had to get them low post touches. And I, I felt like we responded for the most part. And, uh, you know, th those guys is, you know, I thought, I thought JJ passed up a bunch of shots and um, could have had even a more of a monster night, but nine offensive rebounds. Uh, we had her more around the rim. She was more around the rim when she wasn't out there um, at the three point line. So. Big night, 29 rebounds between those two. You yeah, have four from three for Chicago in the second half draft really let you out in the first. Is so that just more attention to detail on your guys' part? Maybe they weren't moving as well? Yeah, we challenged them to be better one-on-one -on -one defenders because we were doing a good job congesting their penetration, but we were congesting their penetration because we were getting beat off the first wave. So our second wave, did a really good job of congesting and keeping them out of the paint for the most part, but that allowed them to have a good half at the three-point line. So we challenged them to be a little bit better off the dribble one-on-one. -on -one. I thought we contained them better so we could spread out more and we could not only continue to congest, but we might not need that second line as, as far and as deep so we could get back out the shooters. And I think they lost their legs a little bit. The tempo, uh, traveling here, you know, it, it, this schedule's brutal on all of us. You know, did that lead to something? It was a little lethargic, a little bit sloppy tonight. Is it mentally tough right now, just these last few games? It is, but I, I think you see that also in a series. When you play the same team twice in a row, like every time we called a play, they repeated what we were going to do. Every time they called a play, we repeated what they were going to do. Then it's a matter of execution. And so there was no surprises tonight. Everybody knew what was coming, the actions that were coming. So things were guarded differently. And so the execution, both teams, you see the shooting percentages down. It's not unusual when you play teams on back to back that shooting percentages at times go down because everybody's used to uh, what everyone's trying to accomplish. So, um, you know, not 
Not an unusual stat line for me tonight looking at this game, not a surprise. Good time to catch Jones. They lost again today to Washington. See, yeah, we haven't scoreboard watched at all. I don't know who played. Uh, obviously, we'll dissect our game there last time, uh, but also dissect these two games that they've played uh, and who's played and, and how they've played without some people. So, I don't, did, did Liz play tonight? I just looked at the final score, 93 <laughs> 